Congratulations, you made it to the last test. This last test is of cranial nerve 5, the trigeminal nerve, and if you'll recall, the trigeminal nerve has both a motor and a sensory component, and it has three branches. So the trigeminal nerve goes along, whoops, the upper part of the face, the middle of the face, and down by the jawline. The first part of this test is going to be looking at the sensory piece. And we've gone through everything um, in introductory, and I'm just going to explain the test and then do the test. And again, I will give you some additional information at the end. Maddie, this is the last test that we're going to be doing, and it is to test the trigeminal nerve, it's called. And, and that what that means is a nerve that runs along your face and through your jaw. It helps with sensation on your face, all over the sides of your face, mm -hmm. and also with um, biting and chewing. So it's got two parts. One is um, touch sensation, and the other part is motor. Okay. Uh, and so. Again, I'll be asking you to close your eyes for this test. We can't really, um, we can't really block your vision mm -hmm. since um, I'm using both hands. Mm -hmm. And are you comfortable with that? Okay, great. And are you comfortable with me touching your face? Yes. Excellent. So I'll be using some Q-tips um, with the ends fluff, just like uh, we did earlier. And I'll be touching you on different parts of your face and you tell me where you were touched. Okay. Okay, go ahead and close your eyes. Mm -hmm. You can point to it if you want. Okay. Great. Okay. And now I'm going to touch you um, with Q two Q-tips simultaneously. You tell me if it feels the same or different from the right side to the left side. Okay. All right, go ahead and close your eyes. Same. 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 Okay, thank you. We're gonna now move on to the motor part of the test, and so I'll just be placing my hands on your face, okay. and uh, just like this. And for the purposes of the camera, you're gonna look that way. And uh, go ahead and bite for me. And one more time. All right, excellent. Okay, so that's the uh, sensory and motor aspects of the trigeminal nerve test. Some things for you to remember. Um, three branches, so you're gonna test up, middle, and lower. You're gonna start off with um, each side, and this is again a little fluffed Q-tip, and the touch is pretty much the same as the light touch, so it's a, a, a little brief excursion, and it's a very light touch. Um, then, the two sides of the face, what we wanna say is, uh, did you feel the same or different? rather than asking when they've been touched or where they've been touched. And this is to identify any right-left discrepancies. Um, finally, I'm going to uh, show you a couple different techniques for doing the motor piece. So when I'm um, doing the motor part of the test, I'm looking at, uh, can I feel the temporalis move? So go ahead and bite. And I feel her, um, I feel her temples kind of go like this a little bit. And if your hands are not large compared to your client's face, or if you feel more comfortable, you can do these in, um, in two, different, two different phases. So temporalis, and then um, the jaw muscle. So go ahead and bite. Yep. And um, I can again feel the jaw giving a little, a little bit of a bulge. Um, I have pretty large hands, so what I'm doing is my pinkies are feeling the, um, uh, the maxilla and mandible movement, and my index and long fingers are feeling the temporalis movement. But as I said, you can mix it up. Also, uh, uh, it, this doesn't feel comfortable for me, but for some people, it feels more comfortable to go with the thumbs down. 
Again, you want to remember to use um, a, a grass that kind of conforms to the person's face, right? There's nothing worse than having like super tight, um, hard fingers on you. And also that um, you're touching uh, gently, but strong enough so that the person isn't tickled and you don't, and you don't elicit that um, like creepy response. <laughs> I think that that is uh, that are those are the the high points of um, of the trigeminal nerve tests, and that this brings us to the end of the video. So, go practice, ask questions, and I'll see you in class.